Hi all, today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to synchronize the throttle bodies of your KTM SM, uh, the one with the LC8 engine, so the 990 uh, or whatever, just as long as it's a two cylinder and I guess it will also work for the newer models. So in order to do that you need to have a KTM two cylinder and very important, one of these, uh, the so called uh, meters to synchronize the vacuum in your throttle bodies or carburetors because it works exactly the same. Uh, basically you level the vacuum in both your carburetors or your throttle bodies by using a synchro tester. One like this. This is for a four cylinder, four cylinder engine uh, but you only need two meters to do the trick. So um, to start Fire up your engine, uh, drive around for a few minutes and then make sure it is at operating temperature before you start with uh, synchronizing the vacuum in your throttle bodies. So I've done some uh, work in advance. Um, this is the bike I'm going to be working at. So I've removed the side panels from the, the tank just to speed things up. Uh, to remove the tank it's quite simple. You disconnect this connector for the fuel pump and you disconnect the fuel hose by using this uh, smart uh, interface uh, to disconnect the fuel line from the tank. Uh, then you've got a sort of a vacuum line I guess so uh, make sure you remove these as well. Um, make sure you close the tap and there's one on the other side as well. This one, you do exactly the same here. So, when you've done that, you can remove the tank by unbolting this bolt. And the one on this side as well. Make sure to remove those bolts as well. So I've taken one out already. Just to cut corners after I've done my test drive to warm up the engine. So I can immediately start working on the bike. That's right, and I've uh, warmed up the engine. So now it's time to remove the tank from the chassis and start connecting the synchrometer to the inlets. Okay, so I have disconnected all hoses and connectors from the tank. So this one from the, uh, the fuel pump, the fuel hose, the main fuel hose. This one here, need to disconnect this one, and on the other side, I've disconnected this hose as well. I've removed the uh, the bolts on both sides of the tank, so now we can uh, peel off the tank from the motor. Uh, synchronization meter ready where to connect the hoses to. Very simple. The first one for the rear cylinder you want to be plugging in here. This hose goes to uh, an intake sensor probably to measure the temperature or whatever. So pull it and then connect the hose from your synchrometer to this one for the rear cylinder. Now what about the front cylinder? front cylinder has a similar tube and uh, it's sitting down there on the intake manifold on the throttle body the lower part uh, and it goes to this sensor here so connect this one disconnect this one as well and connect it to your uh, synchronization meter and then you need to install the tank again because the engine won't run without gas and moreover the fuel pump to pump it to the engine and then uh, first I need to remove this uh, the lid from the air filter so we can get to the throttle body. So we're going to be doing that first and then we're going to be installing the tank again. Remove the lid from the air box. Um, taking these parts loose, connector, pipe here, hose there. And now we got to remove the air filter to get to the, uh, the screw to be used. 
for synchronizing the vacuum in the throttle body. So I'm going to remove those uh, thingies here as well. And then I've got a new air filter. This one is a bit dirty. As you can see, I've taken the secondary flies out. Um, this one. This one we need to adjust the vacuum. Let's get on with it. I've loosened the uh, the hoses connected to the uh, rear and front throttle body, and we're going to be connecting our synchrometer to it. Uh, first, I'm going to install the tank, and I hope I can still get to the screw with the uh, the tank installed. Uh, doesn't look like it really. tank is back on and uh, I can get to the uh, screw so no worries there so I've connected my synchronization meters connected them to the uh, front and rear cylinder and now it's time to fire up the engine and uh, see what the vacuum is about It's not looking good. Um, you can hear the uh, van running, and uh, my display has gone dead. Uh, I hope I've blown a fuse and did not damage the bike. Uh, that's obviously something strange. Okay, I'm going to end this project. I'm going to uh, connect everything together. Hopefully, the uh, display will come on. I don't think so. And then first uh, troubleshoot why the uh, display has stopped working and why I can't start my engine. Uh, perhaps you can help me here. Thanks. Guys, I've got a confession to make. I've done something very stupid, very silly. Um, I tried hooking up a tune ECU, which wasn't working. Now it is. Uh, I've reset the ignition a few times. But guess what? Uh, Probably during the synchronization of the throttle bodies, I accidentally pushed the kill switch and uh, turned off the engine. So after enabling the kill switch again, thank God everything is working again. So I'm going to proceed again. Crikey. So uh, after my little panic attack, we can continue. So I'm finally getting a good reading. Uh, what happened is, is that the, uh, the hoses, and because of the vacuum, they uh, they glued together. So the reading wasn't right. So I've replaced the hoses with shorter ones, a bit more stiff. Uh, and I've got a much more accurate reading. And uh, it's about right now. So it won't idle. <laughs> 
fire up, fire it up a few times. better than this. So, so I've uh, assembled the whole lot again. I've put the lid on from the air filter, connected the tube and the sensor here. So we're now ready to uh, put back uh, the tank on. Uh, one trick of the trade is to grease the rubber mounts so the tank will slide easily over it. I use some Vaseline but you can use some WD-40. Uh, that's maybe better but uh, I can't find mine at the moment so grease it in and the, the tank will uh, easily uh, slide on okay so we're on to the final part of synchronizing the throttle bodies uh, because I disconnected the uh, air temperature uh, sensors to measure the intake temperature from the hoses going to the uh, throttle body from the rear and front cylinder um, I've got uh, an error code in my ECU so in order to be uh, very cautious here and careful uh, I need to remove those error codes from the ECU uh, or else the fuel indicator uh, LED will start flashing so I'm going to be firing up tune ECU to get rid of the uh, error messages turn on the ignition that's connecting so I go to diagnostics mode you see the, uh, the errors here inlet air temperature sensor open circuit or short circuit to the battery uh, and a map sensor pipe fault whatever that may be I guess uh, it has to do with one another. So going to ECU, erase error codes, erase them and then hopefully when I turn on the ignition again my FI LED will not start flashing. So let's see if that works. Okay, so no uh, flashing warning lights, that's good news. So uh, I guess uh, it's now time to a test ride to see if things have improved. It was quite a bumpy ride. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed it and learned from my mistakes. Thank you.